Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Okay, so I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to use a dustpan and I'm going to puddle my paints in a dustpan. I'm going to swipe within the dustpan and then I'm going to use the liquid paint that I've got in my dustpan and pour it over a canvas. So I'm going to puddle those paints now and what I would say to you is you know by now I'm a big fan of making time for you and just concentrating on the task you've got in hand. Don't think about anything else. Just enjoy the moment that you're in. Really enjoy this time for you when you're painting, you've switched off your autopilot, you've escaped from the world, and you're enjoying your painting. The colours that I'm using today are gold, silver and graphite. And then I will swipe in a titanium white that's mixed with Australian Floetrol. And if you give this a go, I'd love to see what you create. So don't forget to tag me in your posts. So remember, allow your palette knife to rest gently on the top of the paint and glide across the paint. That's what's going to ensure that you get a really good layer of that flow troll that will create those cells and lacing. Now that's done and prepared, I'm going to prepare the base of my canvas. And I'm just using a black paint. It's mixed with Floetrol. And it's a lot thicker than what I'd normally use for say something like a Dutch pour base. This will help the paint when you stretch it out. It will help the control of the design on the top when you're stretching it. So, now the fun part, I'm going to take my dustpan and I'm just going to go from one end to the other. I'm going to slowly tip the paint from the dustpan onto the surface and, you know, just let go. Just let what happens happen. Let all that paint come off the dustpan and onto your canvas. And then once you've done that, step back and look at the design that it's created before you stretch it out. So I'm just going to slowly stretch out the design on top and when I do that, I'm just looking at the overall composition that I want to achieve. I'm really in the moment of now, in my creative mode. I've taken some time for me. I've pushed aside all the other stuff that's going on in the world. And I'm just enjoying the moment of now and painting. And that's something that I really kind of dive deeper into the course that I've written. I've written an online course. I'm really proud of it. It's about mindfulness and it's about injecting art and creativity into mindfulness practice. So if this is something that you think you'd enjoy and you want to kick off 2023 by investing in you and your own mental well-being and learning something new, then check out my course. I will list all the descriptions and details below. And I'm just using my finger now just to bring more of the black, the base colour, into the main design. And when you're doing that, don't forget to just really feel that paint. Really be in that moment of here and now. And feel the texture of that paint on your finger when you're moving it around. 
It's those basics that we really forget each day. And it's those basics that we can learn to enjoy. So here's the close up of the wet version. I really, really like it. And I absolutely love those colours. But I think there's something missing. Some of that lacing almost got lost when I poured it onto the canvas. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my titanium white mixed with Floetrol and I'm going to add in some of those details again. I'm just going to look at the canvas as a whole and take different areas one at a time and swipe through to create some cells and lacing. I'm going to do that across the piece but I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to rush this is my time, this is our time to create something that we want to create. Remember, it's not always necessarily about that end creation. It's about enjoying the moment that we're in now and enjoying the experimentation, enjoying the texture and the feeling of the paint as we create. So I'm going to take this time now to just add some of that detail and I'll show you a close up of the detail as we go along. Remember, when you place your palette knife on the top and the surface of that paint, just let it rest on that paint and allow the palette knife to really glide across the paint. Don't apply too much pressure just allow it to glide on top. I really love painting and I'm so proud and happy of the pieces that I create. But one thing that I'm really proud of is I'm doing something for me and I'm doing something to help me unwind and relax from a busy day. And I don't know about you and let me know in the comments below, but this is my escapism. When I'm painting, I'm just really in the moment and it's something that I really, really enjoy. And if you could see my face now, I've probably got a really fa a face of concentration because I'm just allowing myself to just be in that moment of the here and now. And it's something that I always value. It's something that I enjoy being in and doing. And I hope you get that same enjoyment too. So when things don't go right, don't forget, we can always add to them. And if you do ever end up scraping off a canvas and thinking, ugh, this just hasn't worked, we always learn from those. In fact, sometimes they're the best times because we learn what not to do next time. So never think a creation is a failure. Always think that you're just having fun, you're an artist, you're experimenting, and you're growing as an artist and a person too. So each time you paint and each time you create, you're evolving and that's a great thing to be and that's a great thing to be part of. Okay, so the close up and it's so different from the one before because I've added that detail in and yeah, I'm so pleased I did do that because it looks totally different and it gives that kind of 3D dimensional effect and the overall design is gorgeous, so I'm really happy with this one. Let me know what you think in the comments, and let me know what colours you plan to use if you try and do this too. Thanks so much for joining me this week. Happy Monday, 
And if you get to do some of this, then let me know how you get on. I'll leave you with some of the details, but have a great week ahead. And thank you all so much for all of your support, all of your encouragement. And don't forget, if you want a course to do for next year and you want to invest in you and your own well-being, then maybe check out the course that I've written and designed. I'm sure you'll love it. Take care, everyone. See you soon. Bye.